A couple from Florida was arrested after meeting a man on Facebook and taking turns cutting his throat and then throwing him off of a bridge. According to the reports, the victim said, I met the female on Facebook earlier this month and we agreed to go out for dinner and we did just that. And after we finished, she invited me over to her house. And that's when things got weird. She introduced me to this man that she claimed was her uncle and asked me, could we all go for a ride together? And I thought it was strange, but I went along with it. And we all drove to my house. And after being there for a while, they asked me to go on another ride. And that's when they told me I was about to die. They both started attacking me. They stole my shoes. They took my cell phone. They took my keys to my car. They cut my throat. They both did it. They took turns doing it. And then they took me to a bridge and threw me over and drove off in my car. The badly injured man managed to swim towards a patch of land where he collapsed. A deputy described the victim as being barefoot and struggling to stand with large amounts of dry blood on his face, neck, and hands. During an interview at the hospital, the victim detailed for investigators how he met the woman on Facebook just five days earlier and said the woman told him she was in need of money and food. So he offered to meet up with her and go eat tacos. Listen, let me say this here. I think it's real unfortunate what happened to this man. But I kind of feel like what happened to him was the result of thinking with the head inside of your pants and not the one on your shoulders. I don't believe you and this woman hooked up just to go eat tacos. I think when she reached out to you in your inbox telling you how bad she needed money and how she needed food, I think you had other plans. Because if it was all about the food and, you know, helping her out after dinner, that would have been it. And I'm not I'm not I'm not blaming you. And I don't feel like what they did justifies anything. No. But what I'm trying to point out is when you stop using the brain up here, you start to make decisions. That's unfortunate. There was a lot of red flags going on here. The minute she introduced you to her uncle, that should have been a sign for you to go. Hey, can me and my uncle go for a ride with you? No. Can me and my uncle go back to your house? What? This is why I say your story just, it sounds kind of off. It sounds more to me like she reached out to you for money and food and it was going to be a little exchange. I'm going to give you this money. We're going to go eat these tacos. And after that, you're going to let me stuff your taco.